We're at the AES 2014 in sunny LA. I'm on the Neumann booth with Andrew and we're going to look at some, uh, some Neumann speakers. Uh, the 120 here looks like the one we reviewed some time ago, but this is the D version, isn't it? That is correct. Tell so us about the, the D. The D version adds a digital input um, on a BNC socket. And we also, as we have a digital input uh, or digital signal, uh, it's very easy to delay that. And we can uh, use, uh, use the delay for time of flight adjustments. If the, uh, let's say the center speaker is a little bit forward, we can delay it back. Mm -hmm. um, alternatively, if you're doing uh, work with video, then it's uh, very common to have um, audio video synchronization issues. So the, uh, the picture arrives after the sound, which is extremely disturbing. Absolutely. So it never happens in nature. Yeah. So we can uh, delay up to uh, 10 frames in Europe and 12 in the US. Right, okay, that's impressive. And, and that digital card is the same card for all three monitors, I gather? That's right, yes. The same card can be used in the um, uh, KH310. Um, so the digital input version of that product uh, also has um, an XLR socket as well. Okay, so the only all new product here really is this, uh, is yeah. this big beast here. That's the, uh, yes, the KH420. Uh, very proud to announce this. Um, we've used the same tweeter for all three products, so great consistency there. The mid-range driver is the same, so again, uh -huh. uh, good consistency between the products. Obviously, the base driver is different because it's larger, so that's a 10-inch, uh, but that's a, a new uh, base driver design there. The ports are also new. Um, the waveguide has been re-optimized um, in the in the modeling software that we have. So uh, this replaces the 410? Yes, the, the 0410 from Klein and Hummel. So this is the, the Neumann uh, version of that, okay. but it's all new. All new. Electronics? Uh, electronics as well. That's also part of the all. <laughs> Good. Um, so yes, the amplifiers are new. Um, the, the, obviously the crossover filters have to be different um, because the drivers are not the same, so we have to tune it slightly differently. Sure. Uh, any increase in power? Um, yeah, actually the amplifiers are a little bit smaller, believe right. it or not, but we've managed to squeeze another 0.6 of a dB more SPL out of the system by having much more efficient drivers compared to the ones that we had in the 0410. Okay, fine. Uh, and when will it be shipping? Um, well, they're stacked up in Ireland ready to go. Just waiting Brilliant. for some paperwork. Okay, and what start. sort of price are we talking? Uh, they're, in the US they're just under 5,000 each. Um, in Europe, they're just under 4,000 euros each. I don't have a UK price, so I can't okay. give you that. Sure, they can extrapolate from those yeah. two figures. Um, have they changed the paint on this? It uh, looks yes. speckly. Yes, uh, it's, a, it's a glitter ball edition. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that bad. Um, it's a very subtle effect, it's sort of like, like a metallic finish on your car. I didn't notice um, until we got up close. But yeah, but yeah. It's, yeah it's, it's actually quite nice. A lot of people like it. And, uh, yeah. It just adds a little bit of extra something. Absolutely. Just and that's a specially it. mixed paint uh, just for us uh, from a German company. Right, right. Lovely. Thank you. I look forward to hearing it. All right. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Andrew. Cheers.